Claude has just released an update to their content system which allows you to write in different styles. This for me is a complete game changer and in today's video I'm going to be taking you through it. So let's go. So right now I'm logged into Claude and we can see here there's already a new drop down menu called choose style. And if I click that it drops down some already preset choices for you. We can write in the normal style which is default responses from Claude. We can write in a concise style, which is shorter responses, more messages. We can write in an exploratory style, which is, you know, for educational. So that's probably perfect for me. I'm doing educational content and formal style, clear and well structured responses. But the big key thing here and the game changer for me is we're able to actually create our own style. So what this will do, it'll essentially allow you to train Claude on any content you've created previously. In fact, it'll allow you to train on any content anyone's created previously and it'll train them to write on that style. For me, this is absolutely huge because I can then go back to my previous emails and then create emails in the same tone of voice, in the same style of writing that I've done before. Or if you're a content agency, you can actually have Claude then train it on your previous writer's content and you can have a drop down menu of all your different writer's styles there in front of you. So let's take a look. So right now um, I'm inside the menu, we've got customize your styles. So this is the concise style, shorter responses and more messages. And we can actually preview these with an example and the same for, um, for this one and the same for this one too. So let's take a look at concise, just to give you an example, and I'll take you through the custom style, which is the big one, okay? So preview with an example. So I'm gonna use the concise style and let's go with a customer email, okay? And let's see what Claude comes up with. So right now we're previewing for customer email. So respond via email to a customer who received the wrong item in their order, all right? And it's giving us a subject line, dear valid customer. And you can see that it's exactly what it said on the tin, short response, and it's a lot more concise than you would expect, okay? Perfect, right? So already you can see the how the different styles in this work. So let's go back and now let's create a custom style. So click on custom style and what you can do then is you can upload your document or copy and paste your previous writing example. So you can take uh, blog posts that you've written in the past, you can take emails that you've written in the past, any kind of articles, any um, educational work and simply put them into Claude to create your new style, okay? So we can click add writing example or we can actually describe the style instead. But let's simply add a writing example first and then we'll go to describe after. So we can either upload from device or we can paste text content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take an article written by uh, Neil Patel. So if you're in SEO at all, you'll know who Neil Patel is. And I'm just simply gonna take it and we're gonna create a, um, a style based on Neil Patel's writing, okay? Based on his tone of voice, based on his writing style. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm simply gonna add it, paste text content into here and then I'm gonna click create style. So basically Claude is gonna analyze this style of writing and then come up you know, with some prompts and things like that on the back end to emulate this in future without me having to do any extra work or I won't have to write any more prompts in future. I'll just simply be able to call this whenever I want to, okay? So let's click create style and let Claude work its magic. Now while this is analyzing, I mean you can get to this point or you can do similar using custom GPTs inside ChatGPT, right? But Claude is, one of the things I use Claude over ChatGPT for is content writing, okay? Um, I love ChatGPT, I use it for many, many things, but Claude, in my opinion, is superior for content writing. And to just simply have these in a menu option, like I'm gonna show you in a second, is a game changer, right? And not having to use custom GPTs or extra prompts or any extra work like that, okay? So this is devised, the style summary from Neil Patel's article. And the summary is deliver analytical, comprehensive marketing insights through structured evidence-based communications. This is the summary of the Neil Patel style, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna change it from marketing strategist, and I'm gonna simply call it Neil Patel, okay? And again, you can see how you basically create a team of writers. If you're part of an SEO agency or marketing agency, you've hired writers, you can simply um, call them by name. So let's preview an example. So I'm gonna go with marketing blog post, right? We can actually edit the style summary as well, but let's go with what Claude has come up with. And let's see, so it's gonna write a post about sustainable fashion trends 
in the Neil Patel style, all right? So we can see here, sustainable fashion trends, transforming the global wardrobe. We've got the intro, we've got the key insights, market trend, strategic recommendations, and a conclusion. So this is just simply a preview, guys. But already, this is definitely in the style of article that we looked at earlier from Neil Patel. God, I hate that menu. Um, key exactly the same, key takeaways, etc. okay? So this is great. So I'm gonna go back. And we can see here the magic happening. So we now we've got a style based on Neil Patel right in this drop down menu, okay? So hopefully you can see how you can build this out with different styles. You can have like informational style, you can have like your style you use for emails, style you use for blog writing, style you use for webinars, for presentations, pretty much any style you want, okay? And you can build out your menu of different styles here uh, based on you know whatever you wanna train it with, okay? Really, really cool. So let's go back into Neil Patel, and we could edit the style summary as well, so that you know Claude will um, do it a little bit different with it. So let's click on that, and we can see here deliver analytical, comprehensive market insights through structured. Um, we can make it a bit more structured. We make it less comprehensive. We can do whatever we want with it, right? So let's write an actual full post using this style we've created. So I'm going to go back, and I'm simply going to choose style here, and. Yeah, we can see the Neil Patel style is here. So um, write me the best blog post possible on um, SEO trends for 2024, okay? Simple prompt, but it should do it in the style that we've asked it for, okay? Now, again, obviously this isn't gonna be the best thing yet since sliced bread, because it's a very, very simple prompt, but it should be good enough to to work with right because even though we've only given it a simple prompt we haven't given it any stu structure any style any context it's already got some of that from the fact that it's analyzed an article previously and trained itself to write in a similar sort of style okay in a similar sort of way so we can go ahead and look here seo trends we've got an intro um we've got the H2 is H1s, H3s, etc. And it's gone ahead and SEO optimized it. And we've got a conclusion as well. Okay. So we can go ahead and simply work from that. Now, if we wanted to create a new style, for example, more less formal, um, have more humor, more casual style, writing for friends, we can go ahead and train it on articles like that. The world really is your oyster with this. So I think this is a complete game changer for Claude and Condre and Dryden, and it just makes things so much easier, all right? Now, if I was gonna go ahead and want to optimize this further, we can um, ask it some follow-up questions. Claude has suggested um, some things like that here, or we can put it into a content optimizer to bring that SEO score up, okay? It's completely up to you. But yeah, that is um, the, the update. Again, it's kind of um, almost a bit of a subtle update, but for content writing, it is a complete game changer, okay? So on that note, um, if you are you know, in part of the SEO game or you're thinking of starting a blog or you want an automated way to be able to not only create content like this, but to also publish it, to also add internal external links, to add in images, uh, to add in YouTube videos, to add in um, citations and things like that, completely automate the process. Then I've been using a tool called Journalist AI, okay? It's an AI SEO platform all in one, okay? And right now they do have a Black Friday coupon offer, as you can see in the banner. Also, if you sign up through my link below, you'll get three free articles straight off the bat to test out, no credit card required, and then you can decide whether you wanna continue or not, okay? Now, this platform is really, really awesome, and it's all about automating the whole process, the research, um, creating the outlines, uh, the call to actions, things like language, tonality, geo-targeting. You can drip feed content with the auto blogger onto different platforms like Shopify, WordPress, Ghost, etc. There's a lot of really time-saving stuff as well as automating internal and external linking, okay? So I'm gonna take you inside the platform now just to show you how I automate content creation with this, uh, with Journalist AI. So we can click on SEO article here, and we can click on a focus key, uh, keyword that we wanna uh, target. Now we've got different options here for content, structure, formatting, etc. but I'm gonna leave it on default because I want the AI to take care of everything. And if I want to do one article on best restaurant in Vegas, I might want to add another article, I might want to add another article on a different keyword, and so on and so forth. Uh, we can even upload an Excel file of our keywords harvested from Hrefs, from SEMrush, from Key Search, and just 
create 100, 200, 300 articles if you want to, and then drip free them day by day using the blog automation feature, okay? And this will take care of everything, the structure, the style, even the internal and external linking, okay guys, that is a massive time saver, all right? So this is an example of a piece of content produced by Journalist AI, and you can see it's like a preview, so ultimate guide on how to break bread at home. Creates a table of contents for you, all the key takeaways, it's taking care of all the SEO optimization, it's added relevant YouTube videos, um, and just internal links, external links, absolutely brilliant conclusion, FAQ, med description, absolutely everything, okay? The fact they're able to take content like this from keywords and create uh, an entire topic cluster and then send content to it is absolutely brilliant, okay? Now, it gets even better than that, guys, okay? Say if I wanted to, there's certain bits of this I wasn't happy with, for example, this paragraph here, I can use the AI SEO editor to edit it. So I can rewrite this to simplify it, to make it longer, make it shorter. I can even create a list or table of information from this paragraph. I can actually add more or take away keywords or add additional keywords, it's up to me. And if I wanna manually add some external or internal links, I can do that as well. We can see the AI here, searching for fact checked, researched links relevant to um, the text that we put in. And we can see here, we've got some links, I wanna add this one in, I wanna add this one in, bam. That's the money right there. It didn't have to do anything. It didn't have to research any articles. It didn't have to find citations. It's just simply done it. And if you connect this to the blog automator, it will simply take care of the internal and external links for you. Now, let's say I wanted to add an image here, okay? We can add an image here and let the journalist AI generate an image, uh, lo loaf of sliced sourdough with melted butter, okay? And generate the image. Again, we'll wait a few seconds for, for that. Now I'm getting, now I'm getting hungry. Okay, and that looks absolutely brilliant. Melted butter, yum, yum, yum. We're gonna click accept and there it is, okay? Absolutely fantastic tool, right guys? It's three articles for free just for entering in your email address. Do that through my link below. You'll also get my bonuses and my additional discount as well. But right now, if you do wanna take this for a month spin, there's a Black Friday offer uh, completely run in. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this Claude update uh, video. Again, I think it's a complete game changer to have those different writing styles in there. And if you are you know, a blogger or you're into SEO or you wanna create a content engine machine, Journalist AI is the platform to use, okay? So my name is Steve, this is Next Gen AI. And just a final word, I do have a weekly AI newsletter, Next Gen AI newsletter, where I give away all the prompts and all, you know, all the spreadsheets and everything I use in my videos for that week, okay? So if you do wanna sign up, I only send up one video, uh, one email a week and I'll spam you and I try to make it as informative and educational as possible, okay? So if you haven't done that, go sign up in the description below and I will see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching.